Hello everyone. All right, today on YouTube, I was asked on how to take, let's say, set Unity build files, all of these, and compress them into a node setup. And that's what we're going to go over. Now, to help me understand the process, I followed this tutorial by Brackies here. He does an excellent explanation on how to go about it. Just one little issue. He has on older versions and they do not take into account of the mono bleeding edge file holder, nor of the Unity Crash and Unity Player application files. And that's what we're gonna go through, show you how to install those into the same Inno setup. Now, what you need to do is first download Inno setup. So if you don't, I'll contain this link in the description. But in here, all you have to do is just click on random site, US or Netherlands, and it'll give you the file, download that, and you're set to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and close this. And yeah, so my main requirements, Unity, of course, have a build file with all these, and then you're all set to go. Let's get started. Now, the process, before we begin, I'm gonna create two new build, two new folders. And these are gonna be important when we start grabbing the uh, files in Inno Setup. Because inside of here, you notice, if I go in here, all these little, all these additional stuff, and if we just put the folder as said inside Endo Setup, it won't grab those subfolders or files. So that's why we need to plug these into new folders. We're just going to go ahead and rename them. That's why I'm uh, grabbing the name first with Control C on, the on my uh, PC. And go ahead and rename them. All right, excellent. Now that set is done. What I need to do now is take this. Uh, I'm going to copy my full game here, and on then I'm going to paste it in here. You don't want to drag it into the desktop because then Inno Setup doesn't recognize that as an actual folder for you to grab. And we're just going to let it do its process, and I do not know why it keeps on doing that. I have to redo, redo this after the video here which shouldn't be an issue. Okay, so let it do its stuff here. Excellent. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it, I'm gonna open it up, and we're, this is where this is the fun starts. We're gonna go ahead, open up Inno Setup, I'm gonna create my new script with the script wizard. I'm gonna call this Cristillo HD, give it a 1.0 application file, Renicave, my business name, and then in here, give it my uh, web link. Now you could put whatever you want for your publisher and application, just as long as it's a actual web address that it goes to. Next, uh, we're gonna keep this the same, and we need to now plug everything in. So in here, gonna go browse, gonna go to my desktop, go to full game, and I'm gonna grab the application file. That's the main thing that you want here. In here, we're gonna add files. The Unity Crash Handler and the Unity Player go into your files. And then in your folders, this is where this stuff gets important. Where's my desktop? Desktop, full game. And now we're gonna click on the folder. We're gonna hit okay. And it'll say, do you want to include sub the sub files? Hit yes. That way Unity, or the Inno Setup will grab those when it starts compiling. Doing the same setup again, gonna go to the desktop, full game, and now for the mono bleeding edge, gonna hit OK, hit yes, and now this is all set up. Gonna hit next, as uh, yeah, say create shortcut, and you don't need to do the quick launch, it doesn't really work. I tried it before. Uh, you, um, if you want to, you could try putting these in, but I would say leave it blank. Uh, give it the actual languages that you have. Mine's just English, so I'm going to keep it next. Now, this is where uh, this gets a little fun here. So in here, I'm going to call this Cristillo HD Setup times 86. Now, you can name this however you want, but I'm just naming it how I do it. Now, this is where it's neat. Uh, Inno Setup will give you a default icon to use, but let's say you have something that you want to use personally, you can actually import your own type of icon files 
but if you don't have an ICON file to do that, it won't work. Here's a work around that. If we go here, I'm going to click contain this as well. This is a PNG to ICO conversion. What it will do is, uh, let's go ahead and I'll show you. Let's go into, let me pause this and I'll find the actual image that I want to use and I'll be right back. So I found the file. In here, I have this, it's set to 120 by 120. Now, if you could try, I think the max size for this is 256 by 256 try it out but what I can do is I could drag this in here and then it's gonna tell me on the side I could download just click on this arrow here and then you could download the ICO the ICO file which will do that now so that way I have something to use I'm just gonna keep it how it is and then it popped up there excellent I'm gonna go ahead and tell it no but then what I can do is I can actually browse for that. And it makes it a 128 by 128, which is perfect. I'm going to hit open. And then in here, it's going to ask where you want to actually put the output folder. So I'm going to browse that as well. Can I go to here? Can I go to desktop? And I'm just going to click on the full game folder. Uh, or I can actually let me actually make a new folder in here. I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call it build. Why not? And then I'm just gonna hit OK. Now, if you want to, you can set up a password, but that's totally up to you. And then here it says it has detected another presence, so it's basically telling you I've detected another ICO file, which you can. Ex Basically, you can tell it, okay, that's fine. And here, you successfully created, woo. Uh, now in here, you can basically, what well, I'm telling it to save the script. So I'm gonna go into full game, go into build. I'm just gonna call it, I'm gonna call it script, why not? Hit save, and now this is gonna go through the fun things. It's gonna compile everything. So when it's finished, I will show you what, how, basically what happens. I'm gonna pause it, I'll return shortly. All right, we are back. Uh, finished. That took a while. A huge game. It's a big game, I should say. Now to go over, this is actually all the scripts that Inno Setup does for you. So you don't have to do all of it. And what's neat is it actually recognizes the ICO file that I put on there for the 120 by 120. Or that's the file size, the name, I should say. And then it has all your information here, which is pretty neat. Now, once it's compiled and it's finished and you get this congratulations and no errors, uh, you could basically just close this window out. We're going to go to the full game now, go to build, and you'll notice that the ICO file is here. If you had it, it would be the default uh, ICO setup file uh, icon. So this is pretty neat. Now, with because all the is in there, we can now basically just double click on it and we're going to give it a moment because it needs to read on if it's going to open or not. I think it's one of the slowest things, but I guess it's like any other application file. You wait for it to open on the computer. So once it does, I will be back. All right, excellent. So now it is compiled. It's saying, do you want to launch? Go ahead, hit finish. And then what it should do is it'll open up like any application file. So let's go ahead and click on here. And yeah, basically it's working now. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. But that's basically how it should work. Your game should be starting to play just like anything else. Now for now, what you can do is you can actually close out that. Uh, you know, I have my icon file. But let's say I wanted to do, take it up. Just go to your apps, which is the apps and features on Windows 10. Do, 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 do. Scroll down, and you should see where you have this. Now, what you can do is you can hit uninstall. It'll tell you, do you want to? Hit yes. Hit yes, and it will completely uninstall, just like any other app. That's what's also what's neat about the Amazon Setup Compiler. 
Awesome. That's basically it. Now, let's say you go into your full game application and you want to play this out again. But you're probably going to get this error message that is saying it can't, it doesn't have any data files. All you have to do is the subfolders that we created inside of here, just go ahead and drag them out. Drag them back into the full, whatever your main build file location is, just put it back into there. Along with the mono bleeding edge, I already done that, so you don't have to. So on your end, you'll have to do that too. But if you double click on this, I should now be able to play it out the game. Awesome. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and close that because I don't need that. But that's basically it. Awesome. Yeah. So we went through how to first get endo set up, how to get our game build from Unity into the setup. We also went over how to make our own custom ICO files with the app, with the website that I just showed you. Uh, painless, simple, and yeah, thank you for watching. If you liked what you see, please like and subscribe. And also, I will contain links to our game on Steam and the Crystallo HD on side of the Microsoft Store. Uh, definitely your support if you do decide to purchase these would help us greatly, but I do want to show you a great thing. Right now we're running a 50% off sale throughout the whole month of July until August 1st at midnight for Cristillo HD. So definitely if you want to play this out with the either mouse and keyboard or Xbox One controller, this is the spot for you. Also on the Cristillo store on Steam, you basically get the same thing, but you can also play with their PS4 controller. Awesome. And then also, with both of them, they have the Steam achievements, 26 in total. Adds more to, more fun, I should say, into the game. But yeah, definitely your support will help us out greatly, so that way we can make more videos like this in the future. Again, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Otherwise, take care, and talk to you later.